Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our Town Hall 9 Let's Play here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans tips, tricks, let's plays, and entertainment. And by the way, if you like other games, do be sure to check out my second YouTube channel, Klaus Media. Link is in the description. So guys, today on our Town Hall 9 Let's Play, I am super stoked to announce that I actually finally made it to enough Dark Elixir to upgrade a hero again. Um, it feels like I'm swimming upstream a little bit, if you know what I mean, uh, because it keeps getting drained. My Dark Elixir keeps just collapsing into my laboratory, and th that's great. I mean, you want to upgrade your stuff in your laboratory. That's like a top priority. However, what that means is that my heroes are being upgraded even less often than they were before, making it even more difficult to keep up. But I've got 91,000 Dark Elixir today, and it is all thanks to... Well, a little bit of time. I've, I've, I've actually been able to like sit back and kick back and relax and, and play the game a little bit. You know, Netflixing and, 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 eat, and uh, eating dinner and all that stuff. You know, it's, it's kind of a relaxing environment to be in when you're able to just sit and clash and enjoy life for a little while. But also, um, just the fact that I've... I've been able to do raids like a lot of times. I'm like guys. I just didn't get to I haven't been able to raid in like a week uh, That has not been the case lately. So we're at 90,000 dark elixir right now Let's see how much else we can get done and that is going to come from this beautiful raid. Actually look at that That's probably some giant bombs. We need to be very careful with this raid. Okay, let's get our giants in uh, Let's go ahead and throw in some archers as well get the rest of the giants Drop some wall breakers and then some CC troops. Also, let's start sniggling in a few goblins. You know, a few little gobbies. And then, ooh, let's actually poison the enemy queen too. Okay, so the goblins now should make it to the core. Actually, look at that, guys. We're gonna, wow, we took out the town hall. And, oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 goblins. Oh. Oh, guys, we're in trouble. Um, we we got a, a few goblins going toward the town hall, but not, or I'm sorry, toward the dark, I forgot the dark collector was on the backside. I should have attacked from the top. Dang it, man. All right, well, we missed out on a little bit of dark elixir. Um, Let's just put our king and our queen in here. The king and the queen should together get the dark elixir that's out of the drill, which I think maybe like 1300. Like, I think that we may have only missed out on a couple of hundred dark elixir in the storage. Let's just see, okay, we're at 2080. And Queen Smart should go straight for the Dark Elixir, and boom, ooh. 1,300 Dark Elixir remaining, and I forgot to pop my King's ability. <laughs> oh, I'm so smart today. I am brilliant today. Look at this Golem, dude. He's like completely manhandling this Queen. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out. It's not gonna work. <laughs> it's, it's not gonna work. By the way, fun fact, um, if the Golem comes out and attacks you and you don't kill it, it stays in the CC for the next raid. I mean, I should have probably waited to pop it because I think once the golem pops and the golemites are out, then it won't return to being a golem for the next raid. So I probably should have waited and tried to get my queen to take out the golem, but I didn't. But that was unfortunate. We missed out on over a thousand dark elixir because I just wasn't paying attention. Something was wrong with me in that case. I really wanted, for some reason, I really wanted to go against the enemy queen. It happens. But anyway, with the Dark Elixir, we still got nearly 3,000 Dark, which is not too bad. Um, I've got, wow, five minutes until I can get a CC in. Okay, well, I guess I guess we'll just go do another raid, guys. Um, and, it, and that's that's fine. Uh, but this time, let's try to pay better attention to our surroundings, okay? Let's try to pay better attention to the layout of the enemy's base. Like this right here. Like, look at that Dark Elixir. That's It's a bunch of Dark Elixir in one little storage. But, the problem is there's also tons of Dark Elixir sitting in these drills. I bet you if we were to gobble the knife and just dive straight into that Dark Elixir, we probably wouldn't get any more than maybe 2,000, maybe a little bit more than 2,000 Dark Elixir. So, it's always a good idea to look at not just the numbers. Like, oh man, this base is 5,000 Dark Elixir. Yeah, but where is it? Where is it at? What is it surrounded by? Are there double giant bombs everywhere? Are there, are there Teslas? I mean... Goblins are kind of weak. They get destroyed by a lot of things. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. But um, I guess, guys, I'm going to wait and I'm going to try to find the perfect base, the goblin knife base, where you get like, you know, both Dark Elixir drills and the storage and the town hall all sitting on the outside all by themselves. That's always nice. But um, no, uh, you just want to make sure that you're A, getting enough Dark Elixir. That's 3,000 Dark Elixir is my minimum. And also, that um, the both drills and the storage are kind of in a place, in a position, that you can grab them all with one big go. Because as you guys can see, Goblin Knife is not the best for getting three stars. So, uh, guys, I'll be right back once I find that perfect base. Hopefully it comes sooner rather than later. 
Ooh, I haven't found a base like this in a long time. Check this out. <laughs> it's a spawn base. Um, this base was set up to where the special obstacles like the sickle tree, whatever, from the Halloween update, uh, that it won't spawn in the middle of the base, that it'll spawn on the outside. So basically what this guy did is he logged in with this, or logged out with this base setup, and then he pieced out, which is kind of funny. But, um, you know, if you spread out your buildings by one space apiece, then you can cover the entire thing, not, um, instead of leaving, like, open gaps, like over here. Like, those sickles will spawn right there. It'll be annoying. It won't be on the ring like he's hoping for. It'll be on the outside over there. Of course, the, the sickles aren't spawning anymore, but you understand what I mean. So, let's go in, guys. Giant. Do your business. Get it done. Let's get some archers in there too. I'm gonna actually uh, send in a uh, a couple of little archers right now, or li little goblins right now, just to kind of draw out all of those giant bombs. All right. Now I'm gonna get the rest of them. They're gonna come out on this side. Let's go heal, heal, and rage and wall breaker. Look at that. Look at the wall breakers. Yeah, getting those walls down because they are the number one enemy right now. <laughs> all right. And uh oh, what happened to the goblins? Did they hit the bombs? Like, what? Wait, no. No way! Dude, we missed out on getting the Dark Elixir out of the storage. How in the heck did that happen? That's nuts. All right, let's let's poison over this queen. She's only level one. This poison may actually kill her. Come on. Come on. Jump the queen. Jump her. Jump her. Get it? Uh, but, <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. Die, queen. Yes! We killed the queen with a poison spell. Oh, that's glorious. <laughs> Oh, so these archers are gonna be are, are gonna come to clutch. Look at that. Look at the cannon. Cannon can't see the archers. Archers sneaking on over here. I can't believe all the goblins died. I actually delayed their deployment a little bit just to make sure that the goblins wouldn't die. This base defended better than I ever expected. Let's just say. Let me just be honest, okay? That was pretty amazing, actually. So Prada. The name of the guy's name, Prada. Prada, well done, my man. Well flippin' done. So, the archers will still grab the Dark Elixir out of the storage. We jumped to the queen, so she's dead now. And, um, so, um, actually, check this out. This archer on the top, if that archer at the top finishes before the archers at the bottom, then we may have a problem. But if the archers at the bottom finish, then the archer on the top may actually go up and take out the Dark Elixir out of that drill that's sitting directly next to this collector. So, it's a race against the clock, and it looks like... The archers working on the Dark Elixir storage will finish first, but it's going to be close. Come on! Oh, come on! No! Yeah. Oh, and we got lucky anyway. Wow. Yeah, so uh, the archer at the top actually finished first, but we got lucky, and the archer starts targeting the drill. Wow. That was awesome. See, this is why um, whenever we're looking at the, the map, you're looking at it from an angle. You're not looking at it from 90 degrees. It's not like we're looking at it from bird's eye view, so it's kind of hard sometimes to uh, judge distances, and that's what separates the boys from the men, that's what separates the rookies from the pros, is the ability to see things like that, and obviously I just showed you guys that sometimes I don't see it very well, so, <laughs> but this one archer, and that, that group of archers that got shut down by the cannon right there, they are the real MVPs, man, watch this, this Dark Elixir gain is going to be amazing, and I think this archer will go for the lab now, yes, and wow, Wow! She like, she walked like half a tile and then got shot. That was crazy. So that means she was standing in the perfect spot to get that Dark Elixir drill. That was amazing. But I think the MVP of that raid was actually the poison spells. Killing the enemy queen like that. Because if we hadn't killed the enemy queen, I don't think we would have gotten the Dark Elixir out of that storage. So that worked out really nicely, even though we only got 2458 Dark Elixir. I was thoroughly um, entertained either way. So um, now, guys, it is time to spend the hard-earned loot that we have been working on for so long. There is obviously, as you can see from last episode, no defenses left. We're working on simply walls and simply heroes and laboratory. So I guess first and foremost, let's work on the walls. Um, all the gold literally gets to go into the walls, which is nice. So let's go in with 5 million gold. And that leaves us with 700,000. Plenty to do the searching for next time. And wait a minute. Do I have anything in my treasury? I don't. Cool. Okay. 5 million gold. There we go. That's five walls down. And then the elixir will we'll hold on to over a million. So let's do uh, five walls. Is that five? Yeah, that's five. Awesome. So there we go. We did 10 walls with the extra gold in the elixir, okay? All of the buildings and upgrades are dark elixir, so all the elixir and gold gets to go into the walls. So we got four and a half days left till the Valkyrie is done too, which is really encouraging. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna catch the king up to the queen. King going to level 23. She's already level 23, so she's already ahead of her, ahead of him. She's like the older sister, if you will. Uh, but let's go! Although they're the king and the queen, which means I guess they're married. If they were siblings, they'd be like the prince and princess. 
So she's just older. Hey, he, he, he married an older woman. So did I. I did. I, my wife's older than me by a year and a half. Anyway, so let's upgrade this king, guys. Level 23, 90,000 dark leaks and 40 upgraded. 3, 2, 1, bam. And there you go, guys. Um, I am um, I'm now back to square one as usual with the queen needing seven upgrades to go and the king now needing seven more upgrades to go. That's 14 flipping upgrades. And I have I I don't even have 7,000 dark elixir. Plus, you don't want to forget the earthquake spell and the two golem upgrades that are left as well in the lab. But once the lab's done, dude, we're in a weird position. We really are in a strange position. So um I guess that is all that I'm able to do here today. Except for we could talk about the awkward subject of the royal family once again, but either way, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. Um, let's collect this tree. Let's bounce it to my uh, regular base, and now it is time for today's comment question of the day. All right, guys, this is a fun question. So Surya Bagchi, and I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name there, but hashtag CQOD, he asks, "Hey Klaus, one of your biggest fans here." I'm sure there's at least a few of people that are watching now that are like, no, no, that's me. That's me. I'm the biggest fan. All of y'all are wonderful. I love each and every one of you. Uh, but he says, hey, question about the concept of the progress base. I usually build progress bases on my accounts after getting tips from your videos. But who gave you the idea? So basically, Surya is asking, who gave you the idea for the progress base? And honestly, I um, I take credit for the progress base. I, I've never heard of anybody. I've said this in a lot of videos, dozens of videos in the past, and no one has ever argued with me that um, I started the channel just over four years ago. One of the first things that I did was introduce my idea of the progress base. Now, I'm sure other people have come to the idea on their own, but I don't think anybody ever put it on YouTube before I did. So I, I take credit for it. Basically, I'm the organized type, okay? I like to keep track of stuff. I like to know what's next, what's coming, and I'm vi I'm a visual person. So the idea of setting up the base in this way um, was just kind of came from my own head. Uh, but it's really important to me that I know what's coming. I actually, I, I think going from Tunnel 7 to Tunnel 8, I think I forgot to upgrade the Spell Factory one time and it like blew my mind. So I was like, no, I'm never going to forget something ever again. That was before the suggested upgrades, by the way. This helps a lot. Like suggested upgrades kind of makes it to where you don't need a progress base. But at the same time, even though I have the list, I still like to have the visual representation of it all. So, um, so uh, yeah, I just built it because I wanted to and it made sense to me. And... So yeah, I, I take credit for inventing the progress base, but um, if anybody knows any better, let me know. But I'm pretty confident that four years ago when I posted it, it was the first time it ever showed up on YouTube. So um, that's it for me. Good, great question, Suri. I thank you so much. I like the, the history lesson to think back a little bit on Clash of Clans and all that good stuff. And actually, there was a time when there were no multiple base designs. I mean, there was no way to switch between, a, in, between bases. Like that did not exist at a certain point in Clash of Clans. So fortunately, by the time I started, I think it came into the existence pretty early, but it happened before I started. So by the time I actually started, this was a thing. But before that was a possibility, you literally had to like move your stuff around every single time you wanted to change something. You weren't able to like bounce from one template to the other. And that would have been a big pain. And I would definitely not have created a progress base if that was the case whenever I was playing and making YouTube videos at the beginning. So grateful that that actual... Um, feature was available in the game because it just made that a whole lot easier so again Surya, thank you for the question comments guys comments 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 post your comment questions of the day down below in the comments section so i can answer them in future videos i really enjoy it i think it's a cool way to mix it up a little bit and talk about something off topic or on topic sometimes it is on topic um like the video also if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button for daily gaming videos and to join the klaus family also if you like other games and do be sure to check out my second youtube channel class media link is in the description as i mentioned at the beginning of the video and last but certainly not least guys Go to your settings, which is the gears button. Hit show on the top right-hand side of the screen under more settings and go and make sure that you're supporting a content creator under the creator boost. Remember that it disappears after seven days that you do it, so be sure and check in every once in a while to make sure that you are actually supporting a content creator. If you want to support me, use code Klaus. Guys, remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.